I have a little car that I really enjoy driving. It's nothing fancy, but it's fun. It's a silver Honda CRZ with a stick shift. The problem is I couldn't drive it for several months because back in October, the doctor told me I needed a full hip replacement. Along with all the other problems that hip replacement creates and causes, you can't drive a low slung car with a stick shift because you can't depress the clutch when you just had your left hip replaced. So the months go by and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. I finally get my post-op meeting with the doctor. He says, everything's going great and you can drive your stick shift again. So I'm like a kid at Christmas. I grab the keys, I go out to the car, I put them in the ignition, I turn them on and I realize nothing is happening. The radio's not on, no lights are on on the dashboard and the engine isn't running. The battery's dead. So I get the cables, uh, the jumper cables out, jump the car from my wife's car, get it running, drive it around for five or 10 minutes. Oh, like a kid again, I'm so excited. Park it in front of the house and then turned it off and thought, I better double check here. Nothing, no radio, no lights, no engine. After all this time, the battery just won't hold a charge. Call the mechanic, no problem, battery's under warranty. He takes care of it, replaces the battery, presto. It's Christmas again. The car works perfectly. The radio works, the lights come on, all the electronics work, and I don't even have to think about it. Stories are to your presentation what the car battery is to my little Honda. It makes everything work without you having to think about it. A lot of people ask me, but where do I get my stories? The same place I just got mine, from your day-to-day -day life where you run into problems. The soul of every story is the seed of a problem and conflict. Something you want, something preventing you from getting what you want, and the lesson you learn along the way. You don't have to look far and wide. Personal life, professional life, relationships. Identify any of them that have problems. We all have plenty of problems. And any place you have problems, you have a story. It doesn't have to be exotic. I told you a story about a Honda CRZ, a little silver car with a stick shift. That is not exotic. It's not a Lamborghini. It's not a Maserati. It's a Honda. And because you have a car and I have a car, you've had a car battery die, I've had a car battery die, boom, gives us the connection we need. Once that emotional connection is established, the audience is more willing to listen to what you have to say. I hope your car battery works really well today. And if it does, you won't even think about it. Do the same thing with your presentations. Find stories from your everyday life that everybody can relate to it will bring your entire presentation to life and your audience won't even know how you did it. I call it the art of invisible influence.